Hey Team Relentless, how are you? This is Shells coming to you on Tuesday, June 26, 2018. Today we are going to talk about how to take your Color Street business wherever you go. You never want to leave home without anything to do with your Color Street business. Why? I will tell you because maybe, just maybe, that day you might find a really loyal customer or you might meet a potential team member. So always take with you your Color Street. For me, I use my Aloha Clutch. I like it to zipper so I can keep everything in there. I'm gonna show you what is in my bag. So I always carry with me some Color Street catalogs. Always, always, always remember to put your picture, a label on there with your picture and your information. Have these handy to give to customers. You might have a customer right then and there so you never know. I also carry two size bags with me. I'll show you what I put in them. And I get these from my girl, girlfriend's house. I have 4.75 by 6.5. I also use the smaller size for my business card, my Choosy Challenge. This one's a 2.5 by 5. These are flat bags, but they have that self-sealing sticker, and I love that. I also carry with me Starbucks cards. And the reason I put it in this bag is because I like to remind myself that this one has a Starbucks gift card, a $5 gift card in there. You know, you never know if you want to bless someone, give a gift, pay it forward, right? So I also have that in there. Then I have all my goodies. Okay, so I have my samples in an organza bag. I love organza bags. I always have my business card with my square just in case I make a transaction. I have my Tuzi sample there. I also carry these cuticle sticks. And these you get in your starter kit, your $129 starter kit your nail polish remover pads. And again, you wanna be sure to include these things when you give out your Color Street sample, that's the nail file. And always, always give a Color Street nail prep pad or you can purchase the alcohol prep pads from like your Walmart, Walgreens, or even Amazon. Then I have my completed, all packaged up, business card with my color street challenge my choosy on there and this is what the postcard size looks like okay and then I always always try to carry an extra bag with a whole bunch of cards because you never know how many people you're gonna meet when you're out right so the, all of that fit in this Aloha bag and I love pineapples if there's anything you know about me I love, love pineapples so what do I put in my bags to give out to uh, future customers or people that I bump into or waitresses or people in the store. This is the postcard size and this is the business card size. So I always want to have these with me. Now if I'm on the go and I'm going to maybe a dinner party, these fit very nicely in a small purse or even in your pocket. So take something with you, whether it's this or if you're going, you know, you want to show this like a, a party gift. People love gifts and they love to take home a little pretty bag like this with all of their goodies in there. So what's in this? Well, let me show you. I get a business card, okay? And I'll show you where I get all of my things. But I get a business card like this. In the back is my Color Street sample that I'm gonna apply right now and the application instructions. So you get your glue dot and I buy these from Amazon or the store. You put your glue dot right there so if you look it's it's that sticky glue dot you get a sample from your sample bag so you can actually sit down you know while you're waiting for an appointment and you can actually do these so with this backing here I put my color street sample my choosy right there okay if you are making the postcard size one it's in the back and same idea here you put your glue dot there okay there's your glue dot you get a sample and you put it right on that little box there okay there you go so I do use two sizes for two different reasons okay when I'm hosting a nail bar an in-person nail bar or a portable nail bar I use this size because I want them to go home with a nice party bag Okay, they can put everything back in the bag and take it home. So let's put one together. Start off with an empty bag. Put your Color Street Challenge in there, okay? And I like to put it where the 
color street sample is all the way on the bottom just like that okay that's the front and this is the sample you're going to include a prep pad a nail file so put that in there okay and I like to include a flyer with the current promotion. So right now it would be the summer launch. And I also include my join my team flyer. Okay, so I fold that in half. Okay. And I put that in the back of everything. It's so nicely in here. Take off this plastic here, fold it over, and I have a self-sealing cellophane bag. Okay, so that's my twosie. So I do a whole bunch of these. Now I'll show you how I put together the larger one. I use a postcard size. Okay, put it in the bag here. I'm gonna use this bag here. Face it forward so you can always see the information. Okay. Then you wanna include your um, prep pad and your nail file so you get those things out put it in there I like keeping everything separate and organized so put it in there okay put your nail file in there and last but not least your join my team flyer or any promotions. So I usually change out my promotions. So if I'm at like a baby expo or a wedding expo or a Christmas craft fair, or for now it's the summer launch, you wanna include that in here as well too. Okay, whatever you wanna include, you wanna make it that small size. Take off the plastic cover there and you seal it. And there you have a nice little gift. It's a really beautiful presentation when you give it to someone. So let me share my screen because I really want to show you where I get all of these things. So I start with Etsy. There's so many ideas and designers and it's just so creative. So what you want to do is you want to go here. I used Dora's Digitals and I use this one right here, the Mardi Gras. I like to put my picture on things so people remember who I am, maybe um, they haven't seen me for a while, they'll remember me by my picture. And then I customized this back side here because I wanted to turn it into not only a business card, but I wanted it to be my Color Street Challenge. So I used um, the backing from another one of Dora's business cards and she customized it and was perfectly fine with that. And I got it and printed it at Vista Print. I have a shiny cover here. The back side is not shiny. so. Vista print. Okay, always look for one of those codes too. Then what I did was I got a 2Z card, and that's how you want to search it too. Color Street 2Z card or Color Street Challenge. And this one is a four by six. Okay. And I use Mardi Gras again. And that's because I wanted to keep everything uniform. So I print all my things in Mardi Gras. Okay, and the back side was this challenge here. In fact, that looks like the backing I chose for my, my business card. Then what I do is I purchase from, oh, and then going back, these Tuesday cards, you can just take it to any copy place, any copy center, or you can print it on your printer at home. Then I get these bags, okay, so there's two different bags. I use this one, this is the 2.5, it's called cellophane and doorknob bags, it's under that tab, and then you go down to self-sealing, flat cellophane bags, and this is a 2.5 by five business cards, self-sealing cello bag, okay? So that's the one here. That's for the business card and the challenge, okay? Then for your postcard size challenge, you wanna, you wanna choose this bag, so go back here. It is this size right here, 4.75 by 6.50. Okay, there's all kind of cute prints. And that's what I use to put all of this together. And then I also go to Amazon. I get lots and lots and lots of supplies from Amazon. For example, I get a whole bunch of these glue dots. I get nail files like this and I cut it in half so that I can get two out of the one longer size. 
Um, I don't give the cuticle stick to everyone. If they request having one, then I give it to them. Um, this just helps to care for your nails before you apply your color street. So that's optional. And again, if you are applying a color street Tuesday to a person that has nail polish, offer a remover pad so that you can have a nice clean nail and get started. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Don't leave the house without anything about your business. You want to always have your business with you. Take your Color Street business card, your Color Street challenge, put it in a cute bag that you won't forget. I'm always making sure that this is in my purse. No matter if I'm changing purses or I'm on the go, this goes with me and the car keys. Okay. So I hope you learned something today. I hope that it helps your Color Street business. Love you, Team Relentless. Take care now.